Hi there, I'm Jane Young, I'm Director of Sports at Dublin Trinity School and Sports College. We've been involved with yoga now with Karma Life from Middlesbrough for four weeks. The idea of our work is that our class staff enjoy the sessions obviously for the benefits of mental health and well-being, but also that the class staff learn the exercises so that the work becomes sustainable and they're able to work with their class groups on a daily basis. We're in non-uniform today, which is uh, a different thing for us, and we're supporting Mental Health and Wellbeing Week. We're currently working with Durham County Council on our health and wellbeing framework, and yoga is a big part of that work. Hi there, my name's Jessica Jolly from Karma Life Yoga, and I'm here at Durham Trinity School and Sports College today, and we're going to enjoy a lovely yoga lesson with our Key Stage 3 students. Are we ready? Find yourselves a seat and get comfortable. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Now, first thing we're going to do is with our yoga bells. So these are tingsha bells. Now I'm going to hit them together and they're going to make a noise. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Make sure your ears are facing the sound of the bells. And you're going to listen for as long as you can. So the sound will start loud and it'll get quieter. When it's totally disappeared, just raise your hand so I know it's gone. Are you ready? That was a ding. It was a ding. Has it gone for everyone? Yeah. Well done, hands down. And really try and focus on the sound of the bells. Are we ready? It's quite a nice sound, isn't it? And hands down. Now then, we can make it easier for our ears to concentrate by closing our eyes. So can we try that this time? We're going to close our eyes to stop us getting distracted. Listen for the sound of the bells and hands up when the sound disappears. It disappeared. Good listening. Very well done. You have just done some mindfulness in the first few minutes of your class. Good concentrating. Now then, yoga is about a couple of things. It's about mindfulness, which you've just practiced. It's also about breathing. Can you put one hand on your heart Stop. and one hand on your stomach? So we should look just like this. Now, I want you to focus on the hand on your tummy and just think what happens when you breathe in. Can you put your hand up if the hand on your tummy moves when you breathe in? Now, the first thing we want to think about is our feet. In yoga, we're going to try and keep our feet flat and not on our tippy toes, just so that we feel nice and strong. Can you pop your arms up above your head for me? When you think you're reaching as high as you can, I want you to reach a little bit higher without your tippy toes. Very good. And we're going to slowly lean forwards. And I just want you to dangle, so you don't have to reach your mat. You're just going to hang and let the weight of your shoulders stretch the back of your legs. Well done, everyone. Now then, we are going to put our hands on our mats and you can bend your knees if you need to. So if that stretches too much, just bend your knees a little bit and get those hands on your mat. Well done, that's great. You can bend your knees, that's no problem. Well done. And can everyone bend their knees all the way down so you look like a little frog? Well done. Now then, we're going to count to three. After three, you're going to jump your legs forwards. I'm going to quickly show you. So we're going to be getting our hands on our mat and we're going to send our legs to the back. Well done, you're all in your plank pose. Try and keep your hips down nice and low so you're not sticking them up. Keep them down nice and low. That's brilliant, that's a lovely shape. And gently bring your legs down onto the mat and we're going to turn into snakes. Push your arms up and look up to the ceiling. And you can even wiggle your shoulders so you look like a snake slithering in the grass. Very good, you're doing your cobra pose. Can you tuck your toes under? Because we're going to go into a downward dog by taking our hips up towards the ceiling. Are we ready? Yes. One, two, three. Take your hips up towards the ceiling. 
and I want you to be looking at your toes. So your head goes in between your arms and you look at your toes. Well done, you're all doing your downward dog. This is brilliant. Right, after three, can you jump your feet forwards and be a little frog again? One, two, three. And we're gonna start standing up. So try and keep your hands on your mat and start straightening your legs. And then when you can't straighten them anymore, let go of your mat. Slowly straighten your back up, reaching up to the ceiling and down. Very good, you've just done your full sun salutation. Shall we do it once more a little bit quicker? Are we ready? Hands up to the ceiling. And gently leaning forwards. Now you're putting a couple of yoga moves together to make a little yoga floor. Put your hands on the mat. Remember you can bend your knees, that's not a problem. And come all the way down and be a frog. After three, you're going to go into your plank. Put your legs at the back of your mat. One, two, three. Very strong planks, well done. And let's bring our legs down and go into our snake, our cobra pose. Where do we look in our cobra pose? Well done, that's perfect. Up to the ceiling. Tuck your toes in, take your hips up to the ceiling. You're going into your downward dog. Well done, so keep your feet on the mat and your hands, but stick your hips up in the air. And you should be looking at your feet. That is absolutely brilliant, well done. And after three, you're gonna be a little frog again. One, two, three. Fantastic. And let's start straightening up, stretching our legs. Up, up, up. And hands down by your sides into your mountain pose. There you go, you're in butterfly pose. Your legs are now your butterfly wings. Can you flap them? Well done, so you're getting your knees going up and down. And we're gonna do it nice and slowly, bring them all the way up. And take them all the way down. And all the way up. And all the way down. Now get those knees as close to the ground as you can without pushing them, no pushing. You've got to use your leg muscles. Well done. And nice and fast. Give them a little shake. Well done. Now then, pop your hands next to your feet. Now we're going to try and creep our fingers forwards and lean forwards and see how far you can get it. If you want to, you can hold on to your toes and pull and you want to try and get your head close to your feet. Just as close as you can without it hurting. Yoga shouldn't hurt. Well done. This is fantastic, well done. And sit up, and that's fine. You bend as much as you can without it hurting. Right, can you all make sure your legs are out straight for me? Make sure your feet are still on your mat so they don't slip. Fantastic. And pop your hands behind you as if you're relaxing. But we're not relaxing just yet. Not just yet. Can you turn your fingers so that they point towards your hips? Well done. Now I'm gonna to count to three. After three, I want you to try and lift your hips off the mat. Keep your feet down and keep your hands down. One, two, three. There we go, and I want you all to look a bit like me. One, two, three. Pop your hips down and have a little rest. Are we ready? One, look at you, you're really strong. That's fantastic. One, two, three. Go on, show me that strength. One, two, Three, down, you did it for the full three seconds, that's fantastic.